So today, I'm gonna be explaining the full story of the secret agency. Why they exist, why they wanted to kill people, how they almost killed me, and everything else. Thanks for watching. Good morning, citizens. Hope you're all doing well because today is your last day on Earth. We decided we don't want humans to evolve anymore because all they do is ruin our planet. You have a few minutes before an agent comes to your house and kills you. Also, we destroyed the airport, so don't even try to leave the city. Please accept your fate and make it easy for everyone. What the heck? What did I just watch? Uh, guys, okay, hold on. That has to be some sort of prank or something. That can't be real, right? This has to be some sort of April Fool's joke or something. I don't believe this. Come on, guys. A secret agency ending the world. You know what? Let me lock my door to be safe, though. Uh, let me go upstairs. If, if people were getting killed right now on the streets, then I would see it, right? Look at this, guys. I see nothing. The world is functioning just fine. And hold on. Yo, what the heck? Who is this? Uh, guys, is that the secret agency? Oh, it is. He's ringing the doorbell. Uh, he said, open up. And look, the guy's scared. He said, that message was real, question mark. And look how scared he is. He said, yes, it was. Any last words? No, please. I don't care. And yo, he just shot him. What the heck? Spitz. Dude. No, 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 no. I'm next. I'm next. Okay, okay. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, lock the doors. The doors are already locked. But, uh, what do I do? What else can I do? I need to grab a gun. I need to grab a gun right now. Oh my gosh. All right, I have my gun. I got my other one. Okay, now what? Wait, and I, I, heard, I heard a car just now. Uh, guys, who's at my door? No, 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 no. Is there someone there? Uh, I can't tell. The agency, they're here. Oh no, no, no. Hello. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Listen, I cannot kill him. I cannot kill him. Okay, I'm going to the attic. Listen, no one knows about this attic. I'm going to be fine up here. I'll be just fine. Oh my goodness, bro. This is not okay. Why is this happening, bro? What's wrong with these people? All right, let me go ahead and turn my cameras on. He said, anybody here? I'm pretending to not be home. There's no car in the driveway. I'm not here right now. He said, hmm, okay. Wait, is he leaving? <gasps> Please leave. Please leave. And yo, he has an axe. No, he's gonna break the lock. He said, I'll just break the whole door. And bro, he's in. He's in. Okay, okay, listen. I'm hiding. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. He has no clue where I am right now. He just went inside that room. He's in another room now. Okay, I'm chilling. Guys, I'm up here. He cannot see me. He has no clue. Come on. He's going fast, too. He said, come out. Come out wherever you are. He's checking every room right now. He's in the bathroom. Look at this guy, bro. This guy's insane. And now he's downstairs. Dude, what's this guy's problem? Problem. He said, I guess the house is clear. <gasps> he's leaving? <gasps> yes! Guys, he's leaving. He's leaving. Oh, my goodness. He's gone. Thank the Lord. Oh, my goodness. Dude, I thought I was going to die right there. Okay, but uh, we still have a big problem at our hands. What do I do? All right, I'm going to go back downstairs. It's clear right now. I'm able to at least go in my house. And let me relock the door, too, so hopefully nobody gets in. I need a snack or something, bro. I'm actually just scared right now. All right, I'm going to grab uh, some food in case I need it, in case I need to run or something, obviously. But what do I do? Okay, obviously, I can't let the world end. I can't just run. I need a plan. I need something to do. Uh, let me think. Let me think. And yo, what? Are they back? Uh, hide, hide, hide. Oh my gosh. What are they doing? But why are they back? He said, hmm. Did you check this house? He said, yeah, I did. Even the attic? Question mark. How does he know I have an attic? How does he know? He said, wait, it has an attic? Let me see. He said, you don't focus. And he said, wait, it's locked again. <gasps> they know. They know. They know. They know. Okay, I'm in the garage right now. What do I do? What do I do? They're right there. They're right there. They're gonna break in. They're gonna break in. They're gonna break in. He said, someone's in here. Break it. And they're breaking it. Oh, God. Gosh! And they're in. They're in. They're going up. Okay, they're going up. Okay, listen, I have a plan. I have a plan. It might be a bad idea, but I don't care. I'm opening the garage. I'm taking their car. I'm taking this. <laughs> Let's go. It's in the garage. The car door. I'm gone. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, bro. I'm terrified right now. I'm running for my life. He said, dang it. Tell the boss now. Oh my goodness, bro. How did I get away from there? I can't believe I'm alive right now. Dude, dude, this is still not good. Okay, I'm hiding right now in this little secret area. But guys, what do I do? The secret agency's trying to kill everyone. I don't get it, bro. This is a bad idea. They're saying because we ruined the planet. I don't know what that means. I'm not going to lie. I think it has something to do with power. I think it has something to do with them just wanting to rule everything. And yeah, look in the chat. He's saying, boss, we have a problem. He said, what's the problem? He said, someone got away and stole our car. They what? You idiots. Charlie didn't pay attention while searching the house. It wasn't my fault, sir. He said, get his name and all his info now. Oh, no. He said, kill him. It says his name is Tap. Tappy. Tap water, to be exact. He said, find him and kill him now. I have his photo on it, sir. Bro, no, no, no. Guys, when you get a house in Brookhaven, it says your name on it, and it has a picture of you on it. So they know what I look like, and they know what I'm called. That's not good. That makes it even easier.
teachers we'd be found. All right. I don't know how many agents there are, but hopefully while I'm driving around, I just kind of blend in with the agents. I don't know if that'll work or not. I could just be on some kind of stretch here, but I don't care. Gosh, this is bad, boys. People are dying right now. Innocent people. But what do I do to help them, bro? There's nothing I can really do. All right. I want to move closer to the city, see if I can get any more info. I have to be very careful, though, dude. If I get spotted right now, I'm just dead. Okay. Let's go and drive to the city, see what we can find. And gosh, bro, everything's getting destroyed already. This is getting bad. That airport is definitely not working. I don't think they were lying about that. Oh my goodness, bro. What in the world is going on? Look at that airport sign. It's literally destroyed. Oh my gosh. I don't like this, guys. I don't like this at all. I should probably get out of here, to be honest, guys. This is risky even being here. And uh, what the heck, guys? And they just said, there he is. There he is. Oh, bro. I got spotted. I got spotted. Okay. Okay. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? I need to lose them. I need to lose them. They're on my tail right now. Uh, no. Take a hard left right here. Go around. Yes. Up the ramp, baby. They have no clue. They have no clue. Come on. I'm gone. I'm gone. And oh, they have a clue. And bro, why does this ramp lead nowhere? They're shooting. They're shooting. They're shooting. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gonna go up the hill. Take a left right here. Take a right right here. Down this. And then jump over this. Come on. No, it didn't work. All right. It's fine. We're back over here. Take a hard left. <laughs> okay. And then go straight. All right. All right. All right. We're good. We lost them. We lost them. They have no clue where I am right now. I'm chilling. All right. I am literally so far gone. And hold on. Wait. Do you guys see that right now? I see a house over there. And I see a jet ski right there. Uh, They're not on my tail anymore. But you know what? I'm ditching this car, bro. It's way too much of a risk being on that car and driving around the city. I'm taking this jet ski. I don't know whose it is, but uh, it's mine now. And all right. Here we go. Hop on this bad boy. And woo! We're gone, baby. I'm out of Brookhaven, dude. I am out of there. All right, let's go ahead and park this bad boy right here. There we are. And uh, a new home. Guys, I'm not going to lie. This is nice. Don't mind if I do. And I believe it's empty, too. I'm going to go ahead and say hello. Anyone home? And yeah, no response so far. Okay, not going to lie. This is probably the best place to chill out, out for now. And no, no, no. Guys, I see a car over there. I think that's them. But all right, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. I'm chilling. We're all clear, boys. All right. Time to drink this Gatorade I packed earlier, bro. Ugh. Not gonna lie, I'm better to just take a nap in one of these rooms, dude, because I am just so exhausted. If I'm being honest, dude, I don't know how I'm gonna save the world. The secret agency is straight up just killing people for no reason. I don't completely understand why, and I don't know how to stop it, but I have nothing else to do but try. But anyways, let me just rest for a few hours. Ugh. <laughs> And, oh, what the heck? The sun's already coming up. Okay, okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. All right, let's make sure we're all clear here still. All right, yeah, it looks good so far. And wait, hold on. Does this house have food in it? And yo, it does. Bro, who was living here? I, actually, not gonna lie, it's probably some rich person who like has like a beach house, but they don't go to it often. That's gotta be it, because bro, they were stocked up. I won't lie though, it's not safe being here, guys. I'm telling you, if I get caught here, which I probably will, I mean, it's a pretty obvious house on an island. I don't know, it's not gonna be good is all I'm saying. I still got my weapons on me though, so I can't protect myself if I need to. And let me see if I can call anyone. Maybe Ken or something? And no. My phone is completely down. All the grids are down. Oh my gosh, guys. This is bad. This is bad. Hope my family's okay. Hope my friends are okay. And hold on. Guys, uh, why do I see two cars over there? Guys? Wait, no, 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 no. The secret agency, they're here. Oh gosh, look. There's one car right there. The one I left and the other car is right there. And that's them on a boat. Oh no, they're coming. He's on the gun too. Okay, I need to hide. I need to hide now. Now. Wish me luck. All right, the agency's on their way right now to kill me. The secret agency. And yep, that's them right there. Look at that, boys. This is not good. They're here. They're here. Okay, let me lock the doors. Let me lock the doors. Come on, hurry. Okay, we're locked. And there they are. There they are. Hide, hide, hide. Uh, where, where, where? Oh my gosh, this house is all glass. Oh, okay. In here, in here, in here. We're good, we're good, we're good. He said, come out now. We know you're in here. Oh my gosh, bro. There's two of them with guns right now. I'm so dead. Dead. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? He said, break the lock now. Oh my goodness, bro. They know it's me too. They've been looking for me for so long. And all right, they're in. Okay, I'm hiding in here though. They have, they have no clue where I am. I'm not gonna lie. I blend in pretty well. They're both upstairs right now, just checking the house out. They're securing the entire house. Okay, what do I do? I can't hide forever, obviously. There's one downstairs and they're back down here. He just said, where is he? Where the heck is this kid? Go look outside. I'll search here. And he said, all right. Okay, he's securing the island, I guess. That means there's only one of them inside. Hold on, guys. Not gonna lie, I could take him out myself. I don't know, though. Should I do it? Uh, he said, I'll kill you when I see you. Oh, my gosh. He's starting to kill me. But not if I kill him first. You know, he's right there. All right, you know what? I'm doing it. Here we go. In three, two, one. Goodbye, Tyler. Oh, got him. 
Got him. He's dead. Oh, yeah, he's dead. And take those stupid glasses off. Oh, he's fully dead. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, I don't think I fully heard that. And look at the chat. He said, huh? What was that? Okay, I'm hiding again. He didn't know where I was hiding. He's coming in. He's coming in. Yes, there he is. He said, Tyler, you idiot. How did you die? Oh, my gosh. All right, that's it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hands. Hands now. He said, huh? Yeah. Gotcha, buddy. And your friend is done. He said, I got shot. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm going to say, give me your gun now. Fine. I'll take a free shotgun. Okay, and uh, do I kill him? I'm not going to lie. I don't really know what to do with this guy. I mean, I have his gun, so he can't really hurt me. Uh, I'm going to take those glasses off. I want to see your face. He said, what? Why? Because I said, do you want to die? Huh? He said, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought, dude. And yeah, look at this guy, bro. Who even are you? He said, I just want to see my family, man. I'm going to say, well, Tyler here can't. Do you want to be like that? Huh? He said, no. All right, hold on. I'm going to handcuff this guy real quick. So that way uh, I'm all good. All right, I got the handcuffs for him. Put those on, idiots. Put those on. There we go. And sit. Yeah, that's more like it. He said, ugh. Uh, you idiot agents. All right. Now listen to me and listen to me clearly. He said, okay, you need to tell me everything that's going on or else I'm going to kill you just like I did your buddy. All right. He said, you understand that if I tell you that I'll die anyways. Okay. Well, which way do you want to die now or later? He said later, I guess. All right, then speak. Tell me what's going on. He said, well, our leader didn't like the people of this city or anyone in general. Okay. He only cared about his family. Family. I mean, that makes sense. Everyone cares about their family. He said, so he wanted a world where he can live with his family alone. Huh. Interesting. He said, so he decided to hide his family in a bunker and nuke the whole planet. Wait, what? So this leader... Actually, I haven't seen him yet. That makes sense. He's in a bunker now? He said, yeah. Interesting. He said, his family's not moved into it yet. He said, but he's going to tomorrow after he launches the nuke. He's launching a nuke? Oh my goodness, bro. It keeps getting worse and worse. Okay, well, that means I'm going to die out here if I stay out here. I'm going to say, all right. And what else do you know? He said, that's basically it. These are my orders. You think I want to wipe humanity? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, who in the world would want to do that? But I guess the leader does. I was forced to do it or my family would die. Okay. I mean, I see. You don't really have a choice. You just want to do what's best for your family. I mean, that makes sense. Well, how did it even get to this point though? Like, I don't get it. He said, yeah, I don't know either, man. I just follow orders. Hmm. And how many more agents are there? Like, how many are out there? That's what I'm curious about. He said, there are 10 of us. He said, and there are eight left right now. Oh, I guess that makes sense after I captured two of them. Interesting. All right. So now that I know everything I need to know, it's time to kill you. Any last words? And he said, huh? Why? Ah, oh, look at him. You see how the tables have turned? You see how wrong it is, guys, to just randomly kill people? Oh my goodness, dude. Now you see how it feels. And he said, please, dude, I just want to see my family. I had to follow orders. And he said, yeah, I see. I said, listen, now that I know everything, you either need to help me stop this or you're dead. He said, that's fine. I'll help. I know exactly what we can do. Perfect. So you have a plan, you're saying. Oh my goodness, boys. I might be able to do it. I might be able to actually save the world. And he said, kinda, yeah. Untie me, please. All right, fine. Stay seated, though. Okay, let's hear it. What's your plan? He said, okay, so my leader cares about his family a lot, like I said. So if he doesn't want to stop the nukes, when we point a gun to his head, then we can threaten to hurt his family. Interesting. He said, we won't actually hurt them. Yeah, yeah, of course not. Obviously, we're not messed up like this guy. I said, well, the bunker won't have some sort of security? And he said, also, we'll pretend to have a bomb in the bunker that will explode if he doesn't listen. Okay, that's smart. And he said, no, it has nothing right now since no one knows about it. Oh, interesting. It has no security. All right, I like this. Because I'm telling you, you have to act fast. He wants to launch those nukes ASAP. His bunker has a lot of food in it, enough to live for a hundred years. Oh, gosh. Okay, 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 you're right. Listen, you better not try nothing funny. Um, and take your gun back. Seriously, we're here to save the world. And he said, well, I'm in. All right, let's roll. Oh, my goodness, boys. This could go so wrong. It could go well. It really doesn't matter. If I don't do it, I'm gonna die anyways, so I don't care. I'm risking it. Let's move! Gosh, boys, I can't believe it got to this point. Like, how did this happen? This beautiful world is gonna get nuked. We're gonna get to that bunker fast, man. I'm telling you to get there fast. But where is it? I don't know. Hopefully this guy knows. Guys, if he's trying to ship me right now, I am so screwed. I don't think he is, though, right? There's no way. Alright, made it to the shore. We're getting in this car, I believe. Okay, let's go fast. I know. Drive. He said, also, if anyone sees you, they're gonna kill you, by the way. So, 
<laughs> oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind. He said, they won't hesitate. Bro, I know. Everyone in the secret agency is like a cold-blooded murderer. I don't get it. Are you sure you know where this is? And yo, what the heck? I hear nuke sirens. Bro, you hear that? And he said, yeah. We don't have much time left. And yeah, what the heck? This is it? Oh, yeah, this is it. We're here. He said, here we are. Oh, my goodness, bro. I'm scared right now. We're in here. And bro, what the heck? Why is he right here? He just said, I've been expecting you. Dot, dot. What the heck? How? Charlie, you told him? He said, no, I didn't. And he said, you're surrounded. Huh? Surrounded? By who? My agents are guarding all the doors. Bro, what? And oh, he's not lying. They're guarding the door. He said, you're not going anywhere, ha uh -huh. And I suggest you hand me your weapons now. No, I'm not going down without a fight. Listen, you need to stop what you're doing now. Do you understand? And he said, no, I don't understand. Stop the nukes now, Ryan, or else. Yeah, seriously, stop. And he said, we're on different pages. Bro, what? He said, you guys are messed up in the head. Bro, what? How are we messed up in the head? He's the one trying to kill all of humanity. No, that's it. Move it. Come here. Hands up. He said, this won't end well for you. I'm going to say, oh, yes, it will. Down the stairs. Go now. He said, fine. Okay, come here in the chair. Yeah, there we go. And put these handcuffs on, bro. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm doing this again. There we go. Now we got them right where we want them. All right, Ryan. You think just because we're surrounded, we're going to put our weapons down, huh? And he said, you guys are dead, man. No, we're not. You're going to be the only dead man around here. He said, even if you kill me, it won't change anything. I'm going to say, oh, really? Well, what if we killed your family? He said, well, well, what? He said, all right, that's too far. That's too far? He's been killing innocent people. He said, how do you know about my family? I'm going to say, well, Charlie here is great at talking. He said, what? You son of a gun. I'm going to kill you after you're dead. After this. Wait, what? Over and over and over again. He said, no, you won't. Listen, Ryan, have you spoke to your family recently? He said, well, no, but that's none of your business. All right, I'm going to make up a lie. He said, they're safe at home. I'm going to say, well, they're not at home, actually. Charlie knew knew exactly where they were. We have them tied up somewhere secret. And he said, I have a bomb next to them. And he said, how? What the heck? What? Not my family. I'm going to say, call off these nukes now or else you and your family dies. He said, okay, okay, fine, fine, I will. And what about the guys outside? He said, yes, I'll call them off. Okay, hold on. You know what? Let me do it myself. I'm grabbing your phone. Hold on. Let me just grab this phone. And oh, there we go. And he said, what? Hey, stop. I'm going to call the guys upstairs. Hey, guys, turn is all neutralized. You can go home now. And the guy said, hey, don't listen. It's not me. Oh, my gosh. I knew he would try to lie to us. And let me see if they laugh. And look, Jake said, boss said we can leave, question mark. And the other guy said, I guess so. And he said, hmm, okay. And bro, they're leaving. Oh, my gosh. It worked. I'm going to say your men are gone, Ryan. Now what? Dang it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And look, I don't know if he's the nukes over here. I don't know where stuff is. But he can't do anything. He said, I don't know. Well, alrighty, boys. I'm going to make sure all these nukes are disabled. And I'm starting my own agency. And I said it. I said, a new agency is starting, Ryan. A good one. I will be the leader. And we will kill innocent people. Oh, my goodness. Bro, I hate this guy. He said, you'll never have anything better than what I made. Oh, yeah. We'll see about that. And also, you'll never see your family anyways. Because you're going to be in jail forever. <laughs> ah. He said, wait till I get out of these handcuffs. You guys are dead. I'm gonna say no. We're very much alive. So if you haven't been in tune with this series so far, it all started when the secret agency said they were going to mass murder all people of Brookhaven. Unfortunately, a lot of people died, but I fought back and I ended up capturing the leader, forcing him to stop this. Now it's been put to a halt, but it's not completely over. Today, I'm going to become the secret agency leader so I can fix this and I'm going to run the city of Brookhaven. Hello, everyone. The leader's been captured captured and put away and it's now time that i fix this city i have a three-step plan but first things first i need to get to the real secret agency base charlie let's move i want to go to the real secret agency base and all right let's get out of here and oh my goodness bro this city's still so destroyed we have a lot of work to do i call the shots now i'm gonna fix 
this city. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be a lot of work, but I can get it done. I can get it done. And whoa, look at this. So this is where the secret agency was held, huh? And yo, this is where the video was taken. It was taken right here. And on this billboard, they erased it, but it said secret agency, just like that. Yep. Wow, this is insane. All right, Charlie, as the new secret agency leader, I have a three-step plan to fix this city. I want you to write it down on the board, okay? He said, all right, first, we need to physically clean up the city and repair damaged stuff. All right, that makes sense, correct? Second, we need to arrest all the agents, all right? These agents were sent out here to kill innocent people, and a lot of them are still out, okay? And third, we need to actually help people with agency, not kill them. We need to protect them. The agency should be people that you can count on. And if I do all these things, then I successfully will be the best secret agency leader that there has ever been. Charlie, what do you think? Sounds like a pretty good plan to me, sir. All right, let's move. All right, we're out of here. Jeez, boys, I can't believe we got this far. I can't believe I actually run the secret agency now. All right, we're gonna go to the city right now and assess the damages. He said, where to now? I'm gonna say, let's just drive around. And oh my goodness, look how destroyed this is. This is horrible. There's just trash everywhere. The diner's all boarded up and everything's all destroyed. I'm gonna say, keep moving. I wanna see more stuff. Even the police car right there. He said, looks like there's someone in the diner. Oh, okay, uh, we'll go back over there later. Dude, look at this, the bank. It's falling apart. Everything is just destroyed. This is disgusting, man. All right, look, we're gonna need some work definitely to be done. It won't be easy, but it's possible. We need construction workers working 24 seven to fix this, like seriously. He said, which store first? Uh, let's head to the diner. I, I wanna see if that guy is uh, able to speak to us because there's someone in there, I think. And oh yeah, there is. Look right in there. Oh man, he looks depressed. Poor guy. And oh, Chef Eric, sir. He said, huh? Bro, he looks so scared. He said, please don't kill me. Bro, what? I'm gonna say, sir, we are not going to kill you. The secret agency has been overtaken. I'm the leader now, and I've called all of that nonsense off. He said, oh, thank God. And okay, he opened up the thing finally. I'm gonna say, uh, do you mind if we speak to you for a moment? And he said, sure. All right, cool. I'm gonna say, uh, so what happened? Did they break in here? Did they try to kill you? Why does it look so scared? I mean, obviously we all went through a lot just now. It definitely wasn't easy. He said, it was a quiet day until they were in front of my diner. So they had guns and threatened to shoot me. Oh my gosh, bro, that's so horrible. Because they started killing my customers first. And even Charlie just said, gosh, bro, these secret agents were so messed up, bro. That leader was so so messed up. He said, I offered to cook for them and they let me off for a bit. Oh, and that's how he survived. That makes sense. Well, I guess that was a valuable skill to have. I'm gonna say, well, I'm glad to inform you that it's over now. We're gonna be cleaning up this city and it'll be back to the way it once was. And he said, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Man, I feel so bad for this guy. I mean, I remember when I saw someone innocent just die too. I, I thought, I don't know what to think, honestly. I was terrified. I said, no problem. I suggest you start cleaning up your stuff now. You're safe to do so. And oh my goodness, look at him. He said, I will, don't worry. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, Charlie, let's roll. Bro, that poor guy, man. I feel horrible for him. He said, where to now? Um, well, we still need people to actually fix the city up for us. So I'm gonna say, stop here. And bro, we still have leaks in the middle of the road. Like, what is this? How did this even happen? I'm gonna say, Charlie, can you please call the construction company and tell them to start fixing this? Like, seriously, bro. We need a lot of people on this. The entire city's destroyed. And it's not gonna happen overnight. He said, yeah, sure. And I'll help as well. All right, call now, please. This isn't good. He said, all right. And jeez, man, this is so sad. How did it even get this far? And look at that billboard over there. I just noticed this. It says, I hate the government. Oh my goodness, bro. I feel so sad. I know. I think he finished on the phone. I'm gonna say, how did it go? He said, they'll come and fix this. All right, good. That means step one is handled. Not completed, but it's basically handled. On to step number two. We need to find the remaining agents. I feel like a lot of them are either hiding or left. I'm gonna say, do you know how many there are? And he said, luckily, I know just how to find them. Wait, 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 how? How would he know? I mean, he was an agent before, but let's see. I wonder what his plan is. He said, there are two in Brookhaven currently. The rest just traveled away. Yeah, I would travel away too if I killed people. Oh my goodness, bro. Those guys are so sick. Like, what's wrong with them, bro? They killed innocent people and they just left, thinking it would just go away, huh? He said, also, take this device. What the heck is that? He said, I managed to steal it from the leader. Oh, interesting. And what does it do? He said, every agent has a chip in their brain. It tracks that chip. Oh my goodness, bro. Every agent has a chip in their brain? That's insane. Like, they literally chip these people. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I guess it's 
are coming handy now. I'm not getting that shift, that's for sure. All right, um, let's find them. And he said, you drive since you're holding it. No, no, it's fine. I'll let you do it. Let me pass it back to him. I'm not gonna lie, boys, I'm a bit worried. I wonder what these two agents are up to and if they're even gonna fight back. I mean, I mean I'd assume so, but I guess we'll see. All right, we're headed there now. He said, all right, I located him. Oh my goodness, boys. Gotta capture the first agent. Listen, this is part of these steps because if we don't capture those agents, they could still kill people. They could still rebel. And oh, what the heck? An agent is here? And it's living the sweet life, I see. Yep. And yo, why's the door cracked? I see someone. Jake. That's definitely an agent. Open up, Jake. Oh, he probably knows him. He said, who's there? Okay, I'm gonna hide, actually. I'm gonna say, uh, Charlie, you talk to him. I'm gonna hide over here. Let's see what, uh, what we can get out of him. It's me, Charlie. Guys, if you don't know, obviously, Charlie was a secret agent before, so he knows them, and he might think that they're still on his team. And he said, huh? What's going on out here? Charlie? He said, come in. And oh, he closed the door on him. Okay. He said, what are you doing here? And he said, I was looking for you. And he said, me? For what? To get some info. What happened to the agents? Where did they go? Oh, yes. Charlie's so smart. He's asking what the other agents are. He said, well, most left after that new guy. He said, honestly, I'm glad he took over. The old leader took too many innocent lives. And he said, yeah, I agree. It's nice that a change finally happened. And Charlie said, so you're saying you'd like to become an agent for the new leader? He said, I'd be willing to, yeah. And he said, hmm. All right, you know what? I'm going in there. Let's move. I'm going to say hello, Jake. And he said, whoa, you work for me now. I'm the new secret agency leader. He said, you're the guy? Yep, it's me. He said, they've talked about you. Oh, have they? <laughs> and what did they say? He said that they wondered what you were going to do. Your plans for when you took over. I'm going to say, well, to be honest, my plans are to arrest all agents. But if you want to work for us, you can. He said, I'm willing to. I like the new change. All right, perfect. You're on our team then. Let's find the next agent. And he said, great. All right, boys. Charlie, let's roll. He said, all right, I'll locate. Oh my goodness, boys. Oh my goodness, boys. That means there should be just one last agent left. He said, I wonder if he wants to join like you, Jake. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. And hold on, the city's kind of cleaning up, boys. I'm not gonna lie. It's looking a lot better now. I'm liking this. Still more work to be done, though. And oh, even Jake just said, just a heads up, I'm not sure the next agent will be easy to convince. I'm gonna say, don't care. If he doesn't want to join us, we'll eliminate him or arrest him. I have no problem with that. Trust me. The amount of innocent people he's probably killed already. He said, we're here. Uh, here where? Wait, hold on. What the heck? Is that his house on the island? And he said, yep, over there. Oh my goodness, boys. This isn't good. An island house. Oh gosh. All right, let's roll. He said, someone get in the turret and he starts attacking us. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. And already we're here. Let's move. Hello. Who's there? And oh gosh, he's right there. He said, uh, why are you here? Hey, you pulled out a gun. Move. We're here to eliminate all agents and arrest them. And Charlie said, put the gun down, Jack. He said, give me one reason not to end you people. I'm going to say, give us one reason not to end you. I'll end this guy in a heartbeat. He said, you cannot arrest me. Oh yeah, we can. This silly dude. He said, give in, Jack. There's no point. And he said, you'll never get me. Ha ha. He's running upstairs. What the heck? All right, boys, move in. Let's move in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He went upstairs. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Find him, find him, find him. Uh, in this room? No. Clear? No, not clear. Get him. Oh my gosh, he's shooting. And oh, he's down. Thank the Lord. And what the heck? Yo, 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 yo. Jake. Guys, I'm hit. Oh my goodness, bro. This isn't good. We need more people on our team, dude. We can't do this with just me and Charlie. He said, ah. And dude, why does this guy have to shoot him, bro? Oh my gosh. He said, we won't let you die. Move, move. He said, I'm bleeding out. Don't let me die, Charlie, please. All right, get him to the hospital. Get him to the hospital. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The other guy's down, all right? Step two is complete. We need to save this man, okay? We can't let him die. Come on, come on. And bro, this boat is so slow. Come on, in the truck, in the truck, in the truck. He said, I'm not gonna go to a good place. I failed everyone. Oh my goodness, bro. He said, don't worry, you won't die, Jake. Come on, can this car go any faster? He said, even my kids, my wife. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. It's gonna get better, it's gonna get better. All right, come on. And I left emergency room. Come on, come on. Take him. Oh my goodness, man. I can't believe it's gotten to this point. <sighs> It's so sad to see the world like this. But it's all right. One step at a time. I'm fixing this, boys. Because I dropped him in there. You think he'll make it? Is it hopefully? Not sure, though. He said two steps complete now. On to step three. All right. Now step three. Part of our plan is to help people, all right? The city's looking pretty normal again. Not going to lie. It's looking pretty clean. That construction company is actually working. And all right. Let's see the diner guy. And oh, look at his diner. It's all repaired now. Oh, and look at him. He's happy again. Mr. Eric, how's 
it going? And oh, he's a customer in here. He said, thank you. He said, my diner's alive again. Aw, I'm glad he's happy. Our efforts are working, boys. He said, everything's normal. It's slow, but it's better than nothing. No, that's very true. I understand that. He said, glad it's fixed. Yeah, me too. And I said, it'll get even better. Just give it time. And he said, thank you so much. No problem, man. Well, boys, we still have a lot of work to do. This is only the start, but as the secret agency leader, I can successfully say we have almost restored Brookhaven back to what it was. It's going to take time for it to feel normal again, but we've done as much as we can, and now we have to just keep at it. Anyways, boys, if you enjoyed this series, leave a like if you did, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.